then I'm going to share my screen. Very good. We've just finished up with 9.3.33 in the previous video, and now I'm going to move ahead. And we're going to do that ugly little buzzard. Ooh, can we do it? Can we do it? Of course we can, because we're so tough. 9.3.33. <laughs> okay. Well, here we have the fraction five thirds. And it's being raised to the power. Oops, I forgot f of x. X minus one. Now this is the argument of the function. And if I set x minus one equal to zero and solve, I get x equals positive one because I had to add one to both sides. Okay, so x equals positive one, which means I'm going to be moving to the right one. Now my base, is going to be 5 thirds. That's all there is to this. All right, so start with the graph of, and what are we going to be doing? We're going to be shifting one unit, a horizontal shift to the right. So here we go, one unit to the right. We are going to start here, and I'm going to use the uh, oh, it's already in parentheses. I'm going to use the fraction tool. And then I'm going to put a 5 on top and a 3. 3. Good grief. Five needs to go there, and a three needs to go here. All right, it responds to arrows. I had to use the down arrow rather than click on the bottom um, blue square. All right, there I have five thirds to the X, and we're going to shift one unit to the right. Okay, check answer. That was right. Yes, you can have a fraction base. How about that? Okay, now I'm going to enlarge. I'm going to click on the um, exponential function icon. I'm going to click anywhere on the screen. And now I'm going to fill in this information. Notice it's not sliders anymore. Okay, we are not going to stretch or shrink. We do not have a vertical shift. Instead, we have a horizontal shift of positive one. And now this is going to be interesting. Five thirds. Let's see. I don't really know if I have to put. Just stop it. I don't really know if I have to put parentheses around it or not. So how about this? Five divided by three. Oh, beautiful. So, um, let's save it and check the answer. And we were right. A nice, short little problem. Now, I hope this is bringing back memories or nightmares of all of you do working with transformations when you first started working with transformations. Next. This is more interesting. We're going to have a horizontal shift and a vertical shift. Okay, so for 9337, we're going to have f of x equals 2 
that's the base, to the x minus 4 power, minus 2. That means it's going to be a vertical shift down two units. Now this, oh, that was x plus 4. There you go. Uh, if we take x plus 4, set it equal to 0, and solve, I'll subtract 4 from both sides so that I get x equals negative 4, which means this is a horizontal shift. To the left. Four units. So let's go over here. Start with the graph of y equals 2 to the x. Shift it. Left. Four units and then shift it down two units. Check our answer. Good. Click to enlarge. Click on exponential function, the icon. Click anywhere on the screen and fill in the information here. We're back to sliders. Okay, I have a horizontal shift of four to the left. Here's horizontal shift. Okay, it says negative four, so that's what I want. And a vertical shift of negative two, which is down two. And the base is two. So now I save, I check, and it's great. Nothing is better than getting told you've got the right answer. It's a bummer to get told you have the wrong answer. Oh, look at that one. Now this is complicated. This is 9.3.39. So I've got f of x equals five times two to the x minus one plus three. All right, now this is the function part of what we're dealing with. This is a number in front that's multiplying the function part. So this is the vertical stretch by a factor of five. Right, it is plus five, so it's up. Now here, this is a horizontal shift of one, and if you doubt what direction, set the x minus one equal to zero, add one to both sides, you'll get x equals one. The horizontal shift is always in the argument of the function with the x. The vertical, the vertical stretch is always out front multiplying the function part. Now this plus three at the end is our very easiest faithful friend, a vertical shift up three units. Okay, so let us click and enlarge exponential function icon, click anywhere, and now I've got a good bit of information to fill in. 
For instance, I have a vertical stretch of a factor of positive 5. I have a horizontal shift of one unit to the right, positive 1. Okay, I have a vertical shift of 3 up. So let's see, did I have a vertical stretch? Yes, of five. I had a horizontal stretch? No, or there would have been a number other than an invisible one in front of the X. Um, there is no reflection. There'd be a negative sign in front of the five if you were reflecting across the X axis and a vertical shift in front of the X if we were reflecting across the Y axis. So that being said, our base is two. Let's save, hold our breath and check the answer. Yes. Wonderful. All right, let's go on. 9.3.41. Oh, OK. Now, I think I can fit that in down here. 9.3.41. I have something that looks very easy, and it actually is. got base E, and you haven't worked with that a whole lot. So let me find my eraser. There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to have E, which is a number that's about 2.7. It's a universal constant, just like pi is a universal constant. Okay, now we're up here in the argument of the function and the X is being multiplied by two. That means you have a horizontal shrink. Everything is opposite in the argument of the function from the way it is on the front or the back. So that's the only transformation here is a horizontal shrink, like an accordion. So let's come over here. Start with the graph of y equals e to the x, since the constant factor in the exponent is the constant factor in the exponent. It's not a constant, it's a coefficient, but oh well. The graph should be shrunk horizontally. Whew. Okay, we got this one right. Though I would quibble with these people about calling the two a constant. When it's multiplying the x, you know it's not a constant anymore. It's a coefficient. Okay, but what the heck, here we are. Oh, now we have to graph it. Okay, so click to enlarge, click on the exponential function, click on the graph, fill in the information. There's only one thing to fill in, and that is uh, the horizontal shrink. Horizontal shrink right here. There. So let's save and check. Nice work. Are we getting smarter? I think we're getting smarter. Only a few more left to go. Um, 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 um. All right, yes, getting kind of punch drunk here. 
Um, okay. Ooh, ooh, is that bad? Oh my goodness. Well, I am going to have to add another sheet. So, let's see, I'm gonna, am I gonna save right now? No, cause it'll just bother me. Instead, I'm going to page manipulation. I'm going to insert uh, a one page after this page and it's going to be, I'm gonna say grid, but it's not really because it's gonna be notebook paper. And now I click here. Okay, this is my wonderful, wonderful PDF editor. Okay. Now. There we are. And we're going to be working on 9.3.43. This is called a uh, drawboard PDF and I think it's the best by far PDF editor in existence. Drawboard PDF. You can see it right here, right there. Um, okay, so 9.3.43. Okay, we have this really ugly looking thing. Is it? I don't know. Let's try it. One fourth times one minus e to the x. Well, I'm going to multiply in the one fourth. I'm going to try that. So that what I have is one fourth times one is one fourth minus one fourth e to the x. Which is, you know, we have to write it the right way. Negative one fourth e to the x. This is a positive one fourth, so plus one fourth. Now I can read this. All right, remember the negative sign is different from the number in front. <clears throat> of the function, this part is going to be a vertical shrink. A vertical shrink of one fourth. The negative sign reflects across the x-axis. So this is a ref x-axis. And the number at the end with the sign is always the vertical shift, up or down. This one's going to be up. Vert shift. Okay, let's let's give it a try. Doggone it! All right. So exponential function. Click now. We have a vertical shrink of one divided by four. Okay. We do not have a horizontal shrink. We do have a vertical shift of positive one fourth. We do not have a horizontal shift. We do have a reflection across the X axis. And the base is E. Remember, you can slow this down any time, right? You can slow it down. You can stop it and and um, move backwards and then watch the sections again. Okay, I'm going to save. I'm going to check my answer. I got something wrong. All right, I moved too fast. 
So let's see what went wrong. Um, okay, one fourth minus one fourth e to the x. That's a reflection across the x axis. This is a vertical shrink. And this is a vertical shift. So let's see what they're doing. Um, I'm going to do it again. Yep, I am. So I'm going to click. There's a vertical stretch or shrink of one fourth, which makes it a shrink. It's less than one. The horizontal stretch or shrink is this invisible one in front of X. The vertical shift, ah, oh, the vertical shift is positive one fourth. How could I put in a negative? Silly girl. All right, the horizontal shift is zero. I mean, we don't have one. And okay, now I'm gonna save and check. Fantastic, all right. Okay, we're getting to 22 minutes. I vote we end this. I think you get the idea on how to graph these things. Now I'm going to make this into a video, put it on YouTube, send you the link, and you'll have it and you'll know everything there is to know about graphing exponential functions with transformations ba 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 so i'm going to stop sharing my screen got to do this in order i'm going to stop the recording see you later